Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So now that the super fire hatchlings have shed, we thought we'd give you a quick update on how they're doing um, and show you them all off as a sort of and a little update video on that clutch. Let's get to it. Right, so let's take a look at the hatchlings that they've all shed. And these are the little ones right here, the little gorgeous things. They actually shed last night. Um, I think the last of them shed during our Saturday, or the last one shed just after our Saturday Night Live yesterday, which is uh, last night. Um, so they've been here now for a couple hours um, overnight. So what we do is we set them up all individually, uh, all together, sorry, in a box with a uh, blue row at the bottom, so paper bottom, a water bowl, uh, and just have that nice and moist and we spray that as needed. As they shed, we then move them into this second box with Lignocell, just so they're dry and they're not sitting on wet post that primary shed. Before we set them up though, and before we show them all off individually, uh, I'll show you how we actually set them up. So we use three liter bra pass boxes and we tag the fronts with uh, the, the individual animal's um, name, if you will, or morph. So you see here, they're actually numbered one all the way through 10. Um, and the reason for this is that it, this is the way we code. Some breeders or some people use different coding systems. I just use this coding system. And for example, if we were to produce another super fire possible yellow belly in a different clutch in the same season, well, that would be super fire um, possible yellow belly 11. It would, it would come after this. So if you see those numbers, that's what they mean. Um, at the top, we use a nice little um, printed, they're just stuck on to the top of each box and we give these away as the animal cell so that the person has full records of their particular animal. Uh, what snake it is, so super fire, possible yellow belly one. We'll, as we sex them, we'll write the sex here, the date they were hatched on and then feeding and shed. Now we used to fill this out by hand, but that takes a lot of time when you're um, doing you know, a large number of animals. So instead we actually started using a little stamp, just a nice little neat stamp and we'll just stamp the dates as they feed and as they shed and that gives us a nice little accurate record. So, this is gonna be the first one in the list. And I'm kinda gonna pick them at random here, but I know number one and number two are gonna be our holdbacks. <laughs> um, so, let's see this little one here. Um, oh, come on on. So this is a nice little super fire possible yellow belly. I mean, they're all super fire possible yellow bellies. This is a nice clean white one. Um, it has no yellow markings on it at all. And it is, and I'm, I will do a video about sexing, but I will do that in a separate video. That's actually a little boy. So we'll pop him in here. And nice and simple, we, we don't use paper anymore. We used to use paper, uh, but we don't use that anymore. I don't like the, um, it's just too messy. And I prefer them on ligna cells, easier to clean. And I think it's just better for them. So. We give them these nice little water dishes. Uh, if anyone in the UK, they're actually from the pound shop. So they're nothing. It need he's not running. be expensive. <laughs> he's running back to the, his, his, his siblings. His um, but it need not be expensive. It needs to be functional. And what we do is that I actually only fill it halfway because I don't want them completely spilling their water. Um, and we check on these guys daily. So I'll top it up and change the water fresh um, as needed. Most, well, if, if nothing else, every other day. Uh, but for the most part, um, they, well, I'll check on them daily. And now we know this is a boy. I'll just label the little male symbol here. And then I know this one is a boy. And I'll also label the front for our, our knowledge. And these will actually go into a rack to stop them pushing off the lids. Um, and we'll do that in a bit, but there we go. That's the first one there. The second one, hello little one, You've been, you're choosing yourself. So I also want to hold back a female. Um, I wanted to hold back a pair of these guys uh, for future projects. Um, another super fire female will not hurt. And there you go, there's a little girly. So, beautiful little girl. Um, I don't know if the, how much the camera's picking up, but her white is is just ridiculous. And obviously, because they're young, you can see sort of the blue. <laughs> Looks like they've got blue eyeshadow. That's actually the, you're actually seeing the eyeball through the skin. Uh, you, you notice that a lot with leopard geckos. So, again, we'll set her up in her one. Give her a little fresh clean water dish top up halfway, close her up and label her as a female. So those two are our holdbacks. Now, fire, super fire yellow belly three is a, 
um, kind of a gift um, to someone. And actually, uh, her name is Leah, teenage uh, girl who they actually hatched on her birthday, and she was after a snake, and you know the stars aligned, and these guys actually hatched out and pipped on her birthday, which is great. Um, and hers is right here, this little girl. She is the girl with the highest amount of yellow in the clutch. A nice little female. She's actually called it Sapphire, so this one already has a name. Um, and just thought I'd show her off. And she's she's a stunner. And these are really, yeah. if you look, they're actually really chunky um, for hatchlings. So I think they're gonna do fantastically well. And we'll offer food now um, in the next couple of days. We'll actually offer them food. We start, we don't start on fluffs or pinkies. We exclusively start them on small mice. Um, I start them straight on small mice from day one. And I think they do better that way. They put on size quicker and it's more substantial meal. Go in there, little boy. So that is Fire Yellow Belly 3. Did you check it? Yeah, I know it's a female. I'll double check. But you never know. always good to double check. You are right. We, we always double check females. Yeah, that's a girl. We always, we use two stages of um, sexing. Anything that sexes male by popping is a male. Anything that uh, pops female however we always double check with a probe uh, closer to the time of us, us actually advertising them for sale so number four you're choosing yourself so these now will be available once they um, have had their seven consecutive feeds but we will let everyone know closer to that time so this is actually fire a uh, super fire yellow belly well super fire possible yellow belly number four I'm going to keep making that mistake. Beautiful little... Hold on. Beautiful little male. There you go. There's his little hemipenes. So it's a beautiful little boy. He's got three little dots on him of yellow, but otherwise... A couple of freckles. A couple of yellow freckles, but otherwise solid white. So that is super Ooh. fire possible yellow belly. <laughs> we got a bunch of telescopers. They're interested in the great wide world um, and what's going on around them. They're actually really, really nice. They're, none of them are skittish. Um, they're not, you know, nervous at all. And I'm gonna mark this as a male. There's a boy. And we'll go on to the next one. Halfway now. So actually next we'll do this other almost solid white. It has the tiniest amount of yellow. Let's get that close to the camera. Tiny amount of yellow there, and tail, little, is there? Yeah, teeny little bits of yellow, but otherwise, a gorgeous animal. Really pretty baby, and we'll find out whether it's a she or he in just a second. And it's a girl. I know there are in this entire clutch there are seven girls and three boys. Two boys have already been accounted for, so this is another girly, and she's. Oh, get her water dish sorted she is um super fire possible yellow belly number five and she it will eventually be up for sale as well so we'll pop them there number six we're choosing this one we're picking yeah. this one as number six come on ladies so i usually do this when they're not all super fires there is an order to my madness of how i numbered them but they're all super fire so we're going a little bit random here so this is super fire, possible yellow belly number six, and they're all gonna be super fire, possible yellow belly. A teeny little bits of yellow on it. Um, again, you can see how calm these animals are. And we actually do handle these guys very regularly because the idea is that a lot of these animals will be pets. I know some people will, will um, purchase them, either they've already got a collection, etc. and this is actually another girl. Um, oh, come on, pop your head. But we, we do sell a lot of our animals to new keepers and I want them to be animals which are habituated to handling, accustomed to, you know, humans, if you will, so that they are they have the best success of doing well. Best chances in there. Oh, did I label that female? I didn't Let me label that female. Which one are you picking next, Jay? This is another one here. This one? So this is number seven, super fire, possible yellow belly number seven. Again, only teeny, teeny, tiny bits of yellow on it. A few bits there, a few bits there. But other than that, a stark white animal. And guys, if you're watching, I appreciate that all these animals pretty much look the same. Um, 
But this will be the only clutch that I know every animal will be the same animal. But this, I mean, who doesn't love a super fire? I, I personally prefer super fires to blue-eyed Lucy's personally. That's my personal preference. Um, I like the variability in them. And I also really like the fire gene. So having a super fire is just an amazing way to get fire into pretty much any combo you want to get to. And obviously Firefly being my favorite, um, it's always good to have one on hand. And that is whoop, a little boy. That's the final boy. There you go. There's his hemipenes right there. One more time. Little hemipenes. So, a bit tiny. Tiny little hemipenes. So that is actually a boy. And then I will sex these anyway, but I'm pretty sure they're all female. That's a male. And then we'll get on to the last three. So, number eight. At number eight, we have this one. This pretty little one. That's pretty number eight. Got a lot of yellow on her. I say her, but I will, let me check now. Whoa! <laughs> Almost. Hold the phone. Eh? I like just to make double check. Eh? No, that's female to me. Might be male, actually. Peens. Could be peens. Could be another boy. I will, uh, this one I will double check. Number seven and number eight, I will double check before we actually, um, offer any of these anyways with the probe but i like to i like popping i don't mind popping when they're fresh out of the egg probing on the other hand i prefer to give them a little bit longer when they've got a bit more size on them before we probe but i'll cover that in a future video so a nice amount of yellow on this one Ooh, this one this one wants to explore and possibly another male we will poss possibly have four males in this clutch so if he is a boy he's very he's not very well endowed if if that makes sense. So we'll top up his water. And what I will do is put a little question mark on the front of their boxes. <laughs> Two little telescopes. So this looks like a male, and I just put a question mark at the front just to make sure. We do double check them later on. And I will repop everything closer to the time and, and probe those I'm unsure of. And now to the last two. It better be females, because I, I pop them more as female. But they would, it would fuss me too much, but it would just you know, make me look bad a little bit. That's another little beautiful girly. Again, nice amounts of yellow. Uh, it will be interesting to see how the yellow changes or if it changes as they shed, whether it gets more intense, whether it actually begins to fade, whether any more shows up. Oh, back of the head. Oh, yep. Yeah. A nice little back of the head spot. And she is. Oh, 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 oh. Certainly a female. Nothing coming up there. We'll top her water up. And on to the last one. Oh, I put, put a bit more. Quite a bit of water in that one, actually. Shouldn't be too much. Actually, you know what? I know what's going to happen is that they're going to spill the water. And then everything's going to get soggy. And we're going to have to change this out in about 10 minutes. Hey, come on. There you go. You can explore in there. Look, have a drink. No, you don't want to drink, you just want to see what's in the water. Okay, so, female. And this is how our hatchlings um, are raised pretty much for the first part of their life. They don't stay in these tubs very long. And number 10, super fire, possible yellow belly, number 10. Welcome to the stage. A nice little pink head, but that's obviously because she's little. Um, these guys will, uh, well, their, their colors will go solid white. I'm just trying to evade the wrecks here just so we have a nice little shot of, hey, don't be shy. Say hi to the peeps. They want to see you. Here we go. A nice little hatchling again. Nice amount of yellow on her. And I say her. Is she a her? Is she a he? I'm pretty sure she's a her. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it's a male. That one's definitely a male. So it might be that I've misjudged the numbers. It might be five and five. Uh, but I definitely have to check those other two because there was redness, but no hemipene. I will check them later on. Um, closer to like, I'm not so, so fussed about sexes just yet. I will just double check them closer to the time when they're actually ready. So that's our super fires now set up and they'll be going into their wrecks. I forgot to put the water in, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. Boop. A little bit of water. Look. There we go. 
substrate in there, Dragon. Sure, we all that water. So, that's all the Superfire setup. Hope you enjoy that. Um, if you are interested, anyone who is interested, hold on just a little bit. Um, I will put up, or we will put up a uh, post on Facebook and Instagram when they're actually closer to the time where they will be made available for sale. I don't take, we, well, we don't take any deposits or anything like that on animals that are not yet ready. I like to give them seven consecutive feeds. So only when the, the, an animal has had seven consecutive feeds with us without missing a single one, then we offer them up for sale. Um, we wanna make sure that the animal's eating well, that the animal's pooping well, that the animal's shedding well, and that all things are well with that animal before we even consider um, you know, offering them up. So usually when they've had about four or five feeds, that's when I'll start um, you know, opening up the possibility to, uh, to uh, deposits, but no animal will leave until it's had that seventh feed. So just thought I'd make everyone aware. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps so much, and you guys have shown us so much support. I know, uh, you know, a few people have liked the lives. Please continue to join us, and if you haven't joined us and you are on Instagram, every Saturday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., we are on Instagram live for two hours. Um, whilst we feed the collection, we have a chat, people ask questions, jump on, just have a good time generally on a Saturday night. So if you're around, please join us. We'd love to see you there, and we'll finish off with the actual. Show off mama. She's doing really well now. She's a bit dirty, but she has been demolishing. Come on, mama. She's actually been demolishing food and anyone who's been on the live has seen the way this female eats. She actually is about to go into shed, which is why she looks a bit yellow. <laughs> a bit drab, but more of a like a, a, a Mongo, uh, magnolia. Mongolia? Magnolia. So guys, until the next video, we'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.